Tonight I'm making something a little different for dinner. I'm Tess, and come join me as I make easy baked cod and a delicious tomato sauce. Cod is one of my top three favorite fish dinners because it is meaty, great flavor, and affordable. I like it in soups, fried, poached, and baked. And tonight I'm making baked cod and a tomato sauce. The sauce is packed full of flavor, and the cod is flaky, tender, and delicious. Just a reminder that you'll be able to find this recipe, the list of ingredients, and much more in the show more section below. I've also included links where you can purchase online some of the ingredients and equipment that I use in this video recipe. If you have a chance, please check it out. In a pan on medium heat, I'm adding in some oil, diced onions, bell peppers, lots of minced garlic, salt, and black pepper, giving that a stir and cooking for two to three minutes. Adding in some capers, cooking and stirring for another minute. In goes a large can of diced tomatoes and a good spoonful of basil pesto, stirring well. This is really starting to smell good. Also adding in a couple bay leaves for some more flavor, bringing this up to a simmer and cooking for another five minutes. I have my oven preheating to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I transferred the sauce into a baking dish, but if you're using an oven proof pan, you can cook this meal in one pot. I'm adding in some olives, and I happen to have both Kalamata and Spanish olives. I really like the saltiness and texture that the olives add to this dish. Now for the cod. Just placing the cod fillets on top and seasoning with a little salt and black pepper. Baking at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 to 20 minutes or until the cod is nice and flaky. I'm serving the baked cod tonight with some of this cute lemon pasta bow ties that I found at Audi's. The pasta had a very mild lemon flavor and added a little pop. It was a nice side dish with the cod and tomato olive sauce. You could also serve the cod and tomato sauce with some rice. The baked cod turned out nice and flaky and flavorful. The tomato sauce was rich with flavor with the garlic and pesto, and you can really taste the saltiness from the capers and olives. If you're looking for something a little different for a fish dinner, this is the one, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy. If you like this recipe, please hit the like and subscribe button. Remember to hit the bell next to the subscribe to make sure that you get my future video recipes. You can also find me on Steamit, Facebook, and at my website. Feel free to share this recipe and my channel with your friends and family. And until next time, much love!